like human, the hot temperatures can be dangerous for our pets. So what can we do to keep them safe? Joining us now, veterinarian Dr. Jill Rubin with advice on how to prevent heat dangers with our furry friends. Dr. Jill, looks like you got a lot of great stuff right there. I can see the dog in your arms like, put me down, I want to go play. It's important to protect them, right? Absolutely. You know, it's so hot out and I've already seen several animals with heat stroke and really? also burned pads. People don't realize how hot the cement heats up. Well, and, and so we want to make sure. And that's an important thing, especially a lot of people like to get their dogs out, get a walk. But even um, before the heat of the day, the concrete can already and asphalt can burn pads. But also you have to really pay close attention to how much your dog is panting, right? Right. Absolutely. If they if they're panting a lot, get them inside. They shouldn't be outside for very long. Wet them down. Make sure they have ice. For example, a lot of my, my dogs like to eat ice right. and play with it. Mine too. Um, frozen blueberries are a great idea as a treat. Um, and then really important for the pads, there's actually something called Pad Guard. You can spray right on their feet to help them. I also make a uh, topical CBD okay. so that it can soothe their feet and moisturize it. It has aloe vera base. So when they come in from there, because I see a lot of dry pads, you can even use a little coconut oil on their feet if you need really? to. I also just, noticed, just to get them moisturized. I also noticed you have the Kong there too. You were saying you can freeze the Kong and put stuff in the freezer that you need to use on the dog. Right. You could take some canned meat, you know, mm -hmm. canned dog food, stuff it in there, freeze it. So that way they have a cold treat they can work on while it's warm outside. Of course, it's a little messy, but you want to make sure they, they have something cool right. within their system so that they're not getting overheated. It's, it's a huge problem, especially for little dogs like Hana here. Yeah. She's in a little wheelchair. We want to make sure because she has the smushed face or the brachiocephalic face. Yeah. Uh, those guys heat up twice as fast as dogs like Dobermans and Collies with longer noses. Let's also talk about the, the big dogs with lots of fur. You want to make sure and have um, a shorter cut. You don't want to shave them and you want to make sure that you get the winter fur off of them, all of that under fur basically. Right. A big mistake people make is to shave their animals all the way down and it exposes them to sunburn, which I do recommend a sunscreen as well for your pet. But you want to make sure if you're going to do that, groom them well. I like these Furminators. It pulls the undercoat out, leaves the top coat, so that way they have protection. If you want them to cool down, you can just shave their abdomen that way, yeah. and they'll cool down from that direction. But be careful about too short of a hair coat. Yeah, there's so many things to consider for our furry friends. I like in the background how you have them jumping around in the pools. And a lot of people have pools, so it's a great exercise, too. If they can't go on that walk, take them out, play in the pools, let them get some exercise that way. Dr. Jill Rubin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. All right. 920.